Hello everyone, this is Fort Tech 101 here, and I'd like to share with you some Minecraft tips and tricks. Time to explore. My number one Minecraft tip or trick is tree jumping. While you're punching the tree, do not jump, and I'll show you why if you don't already know when jumping and punching a tree it slows your it slows the process down let's see how long it takes while i mine and jump at the same time one two three four about four seconds let's try this one it's a bit more room to jump so this should be a bit more difficult. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten seconds. Let's look at it without jumping at all. One, two, three, three seconds. Three seconds or ten seconds. Mm -hmm. The choice is yours. So, that's it for tree jumping. Wanted to share that little tidbit with you. Now I'd like to go to mining. Let me go to my house. I mean, my mining hole. <clears throat> as I call it. Oh, oh. steep. Okay, there we go. Okay, for mining, like it is here, you don't want to dig straight down. For example, if you got cobbles, if you were digging for cobblestone and you dug straight down, if you're smart enough not to use that last piece, I'll use dirt for example. Well, yeah, if I want to dig dirt and then I dug straight down and need to get to the top. Unless I have a lot of ladders, if I wanted 64 pieces of dirt, let me get to the top. If I'm smart enough not to use that last piece and just jump off, then I'd have to dig 64 holes. If it was something more complex, though, dirt, you can get off the surface. I use that as an example because it's really quick. But you do find it in the process of mining. What you need to do is have it in stairs like this. And you can easily get down to it and it's not closed up so if you found diamond or something just exploring didn't want to bring your tools waste them or you're like darn it I forgot to get something or you can just continue your progress from going out I can dig so don't want to go that way I can dig some more do whatever and something happens, go back up, and if it's way more diamond than I thought, I can go up here and destroy this block. Okay, destroy that. There we go. I don't even know how some of this stuff gets here. So, that's with that. Um, okay. Now that I'm at the top, um, it's time for a tip. The benefits of apples. I've eaten all of mine because they're so good. 
you don't, I mean, the meat and stuff is good, it gives you more health. There we go. <laughs> the meat and things are good, they give you more health, but apples are really nice. They fall out of trees, you don't have to do any work for them, like chicken, you'd have to kill the chicken and run after it and make sure you have a good enough tool. No, just break down the tree and apples will stop falling out. You don't have to harm anything, keep the life there. It gives you about two pieces of health and that's really nice. I enjoy that. I don't have to kill anything or I don't have to burn it, risk getting sick or but not burn it and put it in the furnace, but if I don't have a furnace, then other things can happen. I won't get as much life, just get apples there. Really simple. And to me, the best animal to kill, the cow. I mean, think of it. You can get a two and one, and they drop a lot. I mean, some are better to kill at certain times, but overall, I'd say it's the cow. I don't see any cows, sadly. But they give you leather for armor, other things, they give you food, too. It's a two-in-one. You can't go wrong there. <laughs> so that's why I think cows are the best animal to you to kill and not only do they give you both of those items they drop a lot of them so if you need a lot of them you could make armor right then and there if you had a crafting table and on to my last tip trick whatever you want to call it Oh, maybe that was an earlier mining hole. I guess it was. It's amazing what you find. Berg. My last tip and trick made by me. I'll probably do a video on how to make this sometime later, but the minecart trap. Let me kill this sheep. But... When enemies come in, like spiders and skeletons, they every time they hit the wall of this, they lose life. So they're trying to shoot you or, you or kill you like a creeper or a zombie, whatever. Most of the time they fall in this, and it's not easy to. If you're trying to get inside my house, because it circles all the way around the house. So it's good for things like that, and if they don't die, It'll keep them until the sun. And it's also fun for Ryan. You need power rails, gold, few resources. Ha, huh, my cape. <laughs> you can tell I like Android. But, yeah. You might want to have in this a few, uh, I didn't want to fall. A few levers to change direction for any reason, like if you're trying, so, um, for example, if a mob is trapped in, well, you've got a mob and you want to kill it, you can redirect it to only go in a small path. So, all you need to do. That's not right. Which way was it? Yeah, it is this way. Okay. I'm letting you push it. This one isn't right. So. How? Okay. Anyways, if you have it going in a circle then your mobs will get 
trapped in it easily. And all you need to do is you can hit them every time they go around right there, but they won't be touching you because you rerouted it. That was my last tip or trick, and um, if this video has helped you, you can like it, give it a thumbs up, and the subscribe button, some of my favorite buttons, and most of all, besides the, like and the likes and subscribes, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you felt this was, in addition, something that you wish you'd watch than not watch. Anyway, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.